What a completely random, spontaneous show we just did. <laughs> Whenever I answer the phone, I'm like, hello. What pissed you off? It's a great argument to have. I love my mom, but I think she's half crazy for doing that. How dare you? Do you oh. work with your girlfriend, Mark? Or your wife? I keep them separated. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I call people, they don't answer the phone, I'm like, F- Wrong number, click! <laughs> well, he's not that smart, but sometimes he sounds like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. Go! But therefore, you're an ass, and I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah, but what do we know? Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back. What do we know? I'm Jeff. I'm Mark. Mark. <laughs> One of these days, after a One solid of- year... We're going to get this thing down. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. It's really not. People probably think that we plan to mess this thing up every time. <laughs> no, the odds of us messing it up every time are so slim. So Exactly. So I'm sure people assume that we plan to mess it up every time. So guys, go ahead and keep thinking that because that's really what it is. We, we plan on messing it up every time. We We're are not just... so professional yeah. and well thought out in advance. We just I thought it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're not that uncoordinated, not able right. to do an intro. It's it's planned every time. Anybody could do a normal intro. Not no, we're setting the bar a little higher, folks. <laughs> so we had so much fun last time uh, that we played this with some "Would You Rather." That we <clears throat> do some more "Would You Rather." Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds okay. Uh, would you rather play Would You Rather or... <laughs> What's my other option? I don't know. Play Would You Rather more. Okay, let Go me ask Mark you guys first. Go to Mark oh. first on that one. Okay. So, would you lo- rather lose all your hair, so become bald... Go on. I barely have hair now. <laughs> I have to ask... <laughs> <clears throat> this is a bad group to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bald by nature, though. I'm bald by well, choice. Yeah. I'm not either. I still got full head of hair. All right, okay, go ahead. So, would you be completely bald? Okay, so no hair on top of your head, including facial hair. How about that? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> or have to wear a mullet, <laughs> like you have to have a mullet instead, and a rat tail. So mullet rat tail combination. I think that's a pretty easy answer for me because I would just go bald. I, I like being bald. I facial hair, I would like to have facial hair, but I can't for the fire department anyway, so therefore it would just stop me from having to shave. Okay. I think it'd be like a win win scenario for myself. Julia would hate it though. Julia hates the fact that I keep my hair this short. She hates it. Would she rather see you in a mullet? Probably not, but (laughs) (laughs) if given the choice between completely bald, like shaved bald, or a mullet, she might go for the mullet. I'm not 100% sure. How about rat tail? I mean, rat tail, once you already have the mullet, (laughs) what the hell does it matter at that point, you know? I don't know. I just think, like, I mean, even I, I can at least understand the mullet. I don't. I don't understand the rat tail at all. I actually am the opposite. I can understand the rat tail. I cannot understand the mullet for the life of me. Really? Yeah. I don't understand either of them. It's bald <laughs> for me, and it's not close. And talk about losing facial hair. Fine, that's okay. I'm okay with that. So you guys rather go bald? Oh, absolutely. It's much smaller of a step for me, for sure. Well, and frankly. To be perfectly honest with you, we've talked about my gray hair and my beard a little bit. It's creeping up here now. So yeah. it's not going to be too long, and I might be pursuing that a little bit more seriously. Or just go with the salt so, and pepper look that the lady well, has. Well, okay. <clears throat> so there's stereotypes. Now, this, this doesn't really affect me as much as you guys, but, you know, we have opinions. Of, we tend to have certain opinions with people with mullets. But if you guys are like basically lost all your heads you guys would look like skinheads if we lost our heads i mean lost our hair <laughs> we lost you know, our heads we look like the headless <laughs> horsemen <for sure. laughs> no but i mean like if you didn't have any hair you guys would look sort of like skinheads i think depending on sort or of how you carry things. yourself and dress and things like that you can you can work around the bald head 
So probably no swastikas on your shirts. <laughs> right. You know, you know, I, don't, I can't speak for Jeff. We might have to get some tattoos removed or something. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what I got up on the top of my head. Um, I, I, I do have to admit, I've never seen an Asian with a mullet. Yeah, or uh, I see bald, bald Asians, but more in like no, but completely monks. bald Asians. Yeah, like though? monks and stuff, like Shaolin monks. I suppose. Um, yeah. But <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen an Asian with a mullet. I did when I was in uh, Korea. I was on a bus and I saw. A kid with a mullet, and I was just like, be "How awesome. did this guy even come to Korea? Like, <laughs> he must have like went through a magazine, like in America's like southern sister loving. I don't know, like, what kind of no? Go on, Mark. I want to hear the rest of the the name for that magazine. Yeah, what's the title for that <laughs> magazine? I want to look but at. Anyway, it. I mean, just seriously, like, <laughs> unless he's watching Joe Dirt and just like. Now there's a haircut that I want to have. It could be. Like, maybe he thinks Joe. Maybe Joe Dirt's one of the yeah. only movies that he got, and he thought that maybe, Joe yeah, Dirt was he, a cool guy. He doesn't. He doesn't understand like the subtlety kind of humor behind that whole thing, and thinks that's right. really what American celebrities look like. By the way, that movie was phenomenal. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so it was so so comedic on a higher level as well as lower level like it had both the lowbrow comedy and the like comedy you have to think about a little bit i liked it it's one of those movies i had to see several times before i started to like it at all so like the first time i saw it i was just like repulsed by it but after like the third or fourth time because comedy central used to like run that movie over and over again right right i gotta ask you something mark okay is it the camera angle or is there something on your lip uh, so I got like a fever blister on my lip. So Ugh. it's, yeah. It's like, it's funny. Cause if you turn one direction, you can't see it at all. And then if you like the other way, the mm -hmm. light hits it just right. And I'm like, what is going on here? Like you got something. No, on. I just put a little bit of makeup right here. <laughs> I'm, just out. I'm just slowly going to have a full. Nice. nice. It's building up to it right now. It's the, it's the Hitler lipstick. Yeah. yeah eventually yeah. it'll be like the full lipstick. I should have said something badass. Like, no, I got into a fight just the other day. Bar fight. Yeah, yeah, you know. You missed, you missed a golden a opportunity there. With a Dash black that. belt. <laughs> and I had to fight off some ninjas. <laughs> right. There you go. There you go. You know, Joe Dirt, for me, not a big fan as Jeff is, I don't think. Really? No. I mean, it was okay. It was okay. I watched it and had a couple laughs at it, but I, I don't know that I've seen it since like it came out like the first year or two after it came out but maybe you have to watch it again like zoolander i didn't like it the first time like which one what did you zoolander oh well i don't like that one i'm not a uh what's his name ben the, stiller i know I'm not you, a fan of his at all yeah you talked about not being a ben stiller fan i am a ben stiller fan <clears throat> and i do like zoolander enough to if it's on and somebody's watching it i don't mind watching it Julia loves Zoolander and thinks it's like the ultimate best movie ever, and I cannot get on board with that part of it. Like, it's just a movie that I can watch. It's so dumb. It's the only reason it's comical is because it's you know so what? dumb. I, I just realized I like Ben Stiller in one movie, and if I like him in one movie, maybe there's movies I'm forgetting. Something about Mary? He was really good in something about Mary. That, that one was just okay for me too. That was not okay. One. I loved that movie. Uh, no, actually, it's kind of taking him out of a comedy role in Reality Bites. You guys remember that oh, movie? God, oh, I've yeah. never, no. I've never actually seen the whole thing of Reality Bites. He was okay in that. He was kind of a minor part, though. Right. It wasn't really the whole focus of the movie. And maybe that's what he needs. Maybe he just because I can't take a whole movie with him and his comedy it just drives me up a wall i'm really shocked you don't like something about mary like it's okay i again it's it's kind of the same it's like as joe dirt where i like it but you know yeah it's not something i need to watch every time i see it on tv that's all so just okay to answer just the okay. question i think we all went with balls okay yeah bald for sure <laughs> You got way off track again. We're pretty good at that recently. <laughs> I think uh, what, what do we know should be what do we talk about? Like, or what can we think of next? <laughs> More like how in the world do you guys decide topics? That yeah. should be. Yeah. Should be. 
right, right there. So, all right. Well, I got one, and actually, I was kind of surprised by this. I, my wife saw my card. I sort of doodled some of these on as I was brainstorming at work the other day, and she said, "Well, that's a no-brainer." And, anyways, let me just throw it out there because maybe this is going to be super easy. And okay, all right. Donald Trump. Yes. Would you rather have him? And Mark, I guess you have to pretend you're back in the United States, okay? Would you rather have him as the president of the United States or as your dad? Dad. Why do I have to be back in the States for this? Well, because you're not really affected. In, I mean, you are, I guess, a little on a global scale. I think I'm, everyone will be affected. If <laughs> Trump was president. Well, and, and Mark's still a U.S. citizen. It's not that he's like a Japanese citizen now. Yeah, I still but his vote. decisions wouldn't directly affect his everyday. It could. Life. Maybe Donald Trump would like ban yeah, all so. people from traveling to Japan. Oh, that's I mean, true. I guess you never know what in the world he's going to do as president. So, Trump as president or Trump as your father? So my, father, my thought no on question. this, my wife jumped just like Jeff did. He's much rather dad. He's rich, you know, whatever. But he's always in the media. He's kind of one of the most sort of you. You either love that guy or hate him. And and to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't know people loved him until he started running for president. Because now there's this big sort of group of people who are backing this guy and he's always like leading the the polls for Republican candidates right now. It's like, it's blowing my mind that this guy has this big of a fan base. I get that he's sort of, I use this term very, very loosely, but you know, tells it like it is, you know, and he doesn't pull any punches or whatever. But, you know, just because someone's willing to run off at the mouth doesn't make them a celebrity does it I, I guess it does well he's already a ce celebrity wise he already <clears throat> is though um oh yeah, yeah. What, what's his tv show the apprentice i actually got a lot more respect for him than i thought before just from what media would say by watching the apprentice <clears throat> and i've only seen one season of the apprentice but i was actually like the way he says things and what he goes about like saying to people i actually respect it a lot more than i thought i would for who he is but for him to be my dad, his kids were always at the table with them as part of that show because they do run a big portion of that business. Mm -hmm. His kids are well set for life. They are famous in their own right, whether they should be or not, just because of who their father is. And they're right. going to have no problem with a, um, what do you call it? Not, not a wealthy future, but a a future, I can't say a good one because that's still based on their decisions on what they do in the future, but they're never going to have issues with money. Yeah, they're, they're never, trust fund kids. Right, and they're never, and I think as a as a president, I think your kids could potentially be a target, whereas a celebrity, they're less likely to be a quote-unquote target. So right. I think you'd be a little bit more protected if you're worried about that side of things. I don't know. And you're, I would have him as a father. Okay. You, I, you're definitely right about the money. These kids don't have to want for anything ever, but their whole lives have been under a microscope, including their parents' sort of nasty divorce. And I don't know. That's It can't be an easy life to be a Trump kid, I don't think. And just imagine, yes, they're right next to him at the table on The Apprentice or whatever, so they've definitely worked up in that company or whatever. But can you imagine the amount of pressure he placed on them growing up? Probably a lot. Do that? Like... They did not have an easy childhood. I can almost guarantee that. But then, this... uh, well, I would say they probably had it easier than others for many different reasons. So but here's one thing where you could split this debate, and it wouldn't split it for me, but it could split it for somebody like Mike. I hate politics. Yeah, I, I despise politics, and if I was now a president's child, even though I'd be just as you know hit up by the media all the time was whether I was just famous because I was a, you know, famous actor or famous, you know, person like Donald Trump. If I was his child, I'd now be put in this light of political things. And if I wasn't politically smart, which I'm not that politically smart, and that came to light, that could possibly hurt my, you know, right. father's chances of doing what they do or their respect level because I wasn't smart enough in politics. And, and, and I don't want that. On my back. What, what would this? Would you rather basically prevent Donald Trump from becoming president? That's a good question. 
because then if if he becomes president from whatever reason now and you're the child of Donald Pres- uh, Donald Trump the you're doing both I guess I you know I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I guess supposedly yes let's let's roll with that yes <laughs> okay <laughs> well then you'd be also the president's kid which that'd be interesting as well so what about you Mike I <laughs> I guess I would rather have him as a dad too, but I don't, it's not anywhere near as close to me as it seems like it was to you guys and my wife when I posed this question. Because your whole life is in the spotlight and, you know, I I don't know, that doesn't appeal to me at all. Well, and plus, I didn't grow up with a father to play catch with. I'm sure Donald Trump would like throw balls of money at me back and forth. (laughs) Balls of money. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So let me ask you a question. Would you rather have the power? Yes. Uh, I want the power. For to control time or to control minds. So mind control, you can make anyone or anyone's uh, to do whatever you want. Or you can control time. So you can go back in time, forward in time whatever stop time completely i feel with the power of time control if done properly i kind of could affect people's minds and control sure, their minds like, uh, just through a different means so you rather do uh time control right and because I, I believe also but time control work. i could i could see a lot more cool stuff and if it didn't work it doesn't matter i could go back and do it again I mean, right. but I would do it again, and it's kind of, it's, it's funny because this is a weird way to put it, but let's say, like, for example, a big scenario. I want this girl to love me. I could right. control her mind and make her love me. Okay, I'm forcing somebody to love me, like, that really might not want to love me. Or I could manipulate time and just keep going back and do those things that get her <laughs> to love me, which is essentially, like day. which, yes, essentially is the same thing. You're kind of playing God, yeah, like, you're cheating the system. Right. But it feels better. Because you feel like you got them to love you, not that you forced them to love you. I don't know. So I feel like you could, do, you could do the same thing. But then if I had time control powers as well, I could go back and see the dinosaurs. I could see when the world ends. There's a lot more I could do with the time control. Right. Like, you're not, like, invincible. If if the world's ending, you you could possibly die. I would just zip back in time real quick. I'd be like, oh, world's over. Go back, go back. <laughs> <laughs> throw it in reverse throw it in reverse <laughs> so I feel like with the mind control aspect of this you could lead a super comfortable 80 90 years on this planet or whatever you know your right. humanly shell is good for um, but like the exploring kind of scientific part of my brain would definitely choose the time travel because I'm like Jeff I would want to sort of go back and, you know, see how we got here. I, there's so many things you could have answered that just perplex your brain on sort of a daily basis. Like, you know, there's all these theories about the dinosaurs actually evolving from birds right. and things like that. Like, you can go back and find out, you know. But you, what was Jesus's role, really, on Earth? You know, you could find that out for sure. Can you imagine and what a buzzkill you'd be at parties, though? Like, people are debating something, having a good old time, right. and you're like, hold on, let you me find answer. out. Bam, nope, you're wrong. Yeah. Sorry. Let me get <laughs> and, and, and then you come back, like, the whole universe is different because you changed time? <clears throat> well, I would be careful, of course. <laughs> okay. the, the future it would be totally intriguing to me. I, we've had discussions on this show about, you know, space exploration and things like that. And that, that'd be ac- absolutely fascinating to me to, to be able to jump around in time and see so what... So time control, huh? Yeah, I think so. I was thinking actually, I was leaning more towards mind control. What's your What's your rationale? Well, I mean, like, sure, time control. There's a lot to explore in the future, and the past, and stuff like that. But there's a lot to experience right now. Like, I wouldn't mind going to Greece or Italy or whatever. And I guess with time control, you could always like win the lottery and get enough money and do whatever you want that way. So, but, how would you get there with mind control, though? convince flight yeah. attendants you actually have a ticket and they let you on the plane like i'm not do whatever you want i mean basically right. yeah. anything that you want to do or experience i'm sure you can have have it done like you want to control a country sure why not i want 
I could run this country better than anyone else. Okay, then I'll become president. Now, with, with, with time control, I would have to ask, though, does my body age as it would yeah. if I was constantly moving forward? Yeah, so, so I would say yes. That's not like you're like you're living instantly. You just control time around you, I suppose. So if I went back and decided like, you know, on top of being, you know, a computer engineer, maybe I should have done something else instead of that degree. So I go back and I go through college again, but get a better degree or a different degree. Uh, I've now wasted four now. years. And even though if I come to the point when I left, am I four years older? Oh, so you're, you're like time control through your body. So, like, right. you go back to your younger self. Well, what, what Jeff is saying, like, I get what Jeff is saying. So, say, when Jeff graduated college, say yeah. he decides all of a sudden, for whatever reason, he doesn't like this degree. So, he goes back and does four more years of college to get a different degree. But living back right. in my fraternity house again, because I, right. you know, I loved but that does, and had a good time. But, but he's saying, does that make his physical body four years older than when he graduated college the first time? So, therefore... Oh. Like, I would think so. only, only do that so many times. I think so. And I would theoretically die if I did that enough times. I would end up <laughs> right. dying you when people, yeah, people thought I was like 30 years old, but really my body was like 90. <laughs> but I, I really like, was like, damn, he aged horribly. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened to that guy. Like, oh, that Jeff, he drank what three beers and then he passed out as a 90 year old man. <laughs> Lived in that frat house for 80 years. <laughs> it's tough on the body. <laughs> that would be that would be a rough one. Okay, I got a weird one for you. All right, go ahead. Would you rather have an affair on your significant other, but no, nobody would ever find out, or not have the affair and be completely faithful, but everybody, including your significant other, thought you had an affair? Ah, I see. I've heard this one before, but I don't think it was an affair. I think it was like with a goat or something. <laughs> I think I actually did see this one related to a goat, and I modified it to it to be more acceptable to the goat. show, like to make us think harder about it. <laughs> to make us not think about goats. Well, no, I actually think that the way to ask it as a goat was something about, would you rather have sex with a goat and no, nobody's going to find out or not have sex with a goat, but everybody thinks he had sex with a goat. And I think that's a little bit different if you put it in the context of because that's still you. It's like, eh, what, I, I slept with a goat or I didn't sleep with a goat. This puts it in the context of not only are you really affecting yourself, but also your significant other, your wife or, you know, girlfriend or whatever. And for you guys, it's wife. For me, it would be girlfriend because I don't have, you know, a wife. Um mm. But I, I use somebody else's on the line. I'm not as worried about the goat's feelings when I'm telling it so, from the goat's perspective. Right. right. So it's an interesting twist for sure. I guess my only logic that I have for this is... And yes, she was hot. I, I guess I don't care so much what other people think. But your wife? Right. Yeah. When you're talking about the wife thinks you did something... So really, it's going to treat you in your relationship like you did something, whether she stayed yeah. with you not. That's a whole choice well, that would come. Like, and, and also, I have a uh, a daughter who's old enough to feel the repercussions of this too. Um, so, for you know, with that logic, it basically comes down to: Am I going to live with the guilt, or am I going to hurt you know my oldest daughter? Well, and frankly, all my kids really, because they're right. going to notice a divide in the family too. So am I going to hurt all of them or am I just going to live with this guilt? And I guess that's the way I would have to go. Which, which one? Living, gu with, living guilt. with guilt. With, I'd be the only one who know that I had an affair. But then you I'm also, the one, you don't think I, that's selfish at all because you also got to have the affair. Like, so it's kind of like you're taking, well, a, if I, I don't, I'm just, I'm just throwing taking, out random things. He's taking a bullet for his family. It's if a I'm, good bullet. <laughs> I, I, I'm in no way, shape, or form saying this is going to happen, but I, if I have to pick one of these scenarios, then yeah, I'll jump on the grenade. That's all. <laughs> Mark? I would probably... Um, yeah, I guess I'll be on the grenade as well. I think it's... 
<clears throat> I think it'd be much worse if my wife thought I cheated on her, because then there'd be no way to dissuade her over this, right? Mm -hmm. So that would probably destroy my marriage, and that would probably be a worse effect for outcome for me. So I would, I would probably have to agree, just because I think if. In the context of the way that this was asked, if you really can't dissuade somebody, they're just never going to trust you again for the rest of their lives. And I think when you don't do something, but somebody else thinks you did, it also pushes you to almost want to do that because you feel like, oh. what the hell? Like, if you're going to think I did anyway, I might as well have done it. Right. You know, type but of. They'll, they'll resent you. And then you'll start to eventually resent them for like. Right. Or resenting you. you. Right. Okay, with that then, let me ask you this. Would you rather toss salad or have anal done to you? And I'm t toss salad with a stranger, not your wife or girlfriend. Does that have Just to like, be with somebody, uh, or can it be with somebody of the opposite sex still? Or does it, is it, are you assuming that it's a man that I'm tossing their salad in this situation? Yeah, I would guess it would have to be because it's like, what end of the person are you going to get? <laughs> it would be my question. Wait, wait, what? What end of the person you're oh, getting? Oh, oh I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Okay. So it's a, on the front, there is a penis. <laughs> and on the back, there's a salad bar. Is yeah, you're, you're like, let's say you're in prison and the, uh, the prison guy. Uh, uh, said, okay, you got a choice. Huh. Toss my salad or take it from behind. So I've had some girls try some things on me that I didn't like that much. Hmm. So I can't imagine that I would like to take it from the rear. I think I'd have to go with the salad tossing. I, uh, you know, as the person who introduced this game to this podcast not all that long ago and said, hey, guys, come up with ideas. I regret that. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think I have to side with Jeff on this one. It's, it's not an awesome situation. These last two questions have both been really downers. <laughs> There's no good way to answer them for sure. But, yeah, I guess, you know, guess I got to go with the salad tossing. I'm, I'm the other way. Like, I don't know. I think it would just, the taste <laughs> and the, like, you can brush like your teeth in though. your face. I guess it's, well, at least if, if you're the other way, Mark, we could get it done at the same time. <laughs> like, it's be more time efficient. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So it'd be like, um, full of, what is it? Uh, a uh, full metal jacket where maybe the guy will be decent and give a reach around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, would you rather eat five servings a day of your least favorite food for a year mm. or live with your least favorite person you've ever met in your entire life for one year? Probably five servings a day on my least favorite food. Because, like, well, man, I don't know. There's so many things I can do. I've lived with people that I've not liked before, and I usually spend a lot of time outside of the house. <clears throat> and that was sort of my thought, too. But you're, you know, ultimately you're sort of trapped with this person when you go home. <laughs> that is true. I'm trying to think. I don't know if I actually had someone that I really hate so much that. Any, never in your life you've met someone who just annoyed the bejesus out of you. Mark hasn't had the luxury of having that many roommates in his life either. That even people that you I'm love. Not, to I'm not death. saying roommates. I'm saying the most annoying person you've ever met in your life. You have to room with them for a year. See, well, but that's hard for me to decide because, like, if I don't like someone, like, I just don't hang out with them. So it never gets to a I'm point. I'm not saying like, someone I, you I, hang out with. Oh, no, no. I'm saying is for me. If someone annoys me, like, you know, just a little bit, I just don't put myself around them. So they never get to the point where I'm just like, oh, I hate this person. I can't stand this person. It's just sort of like, oh, I don't like this person that much. I don't hang out with them. And that's it. Well, that person, you have to live with them for a year. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so I guess, I mean, I'd rather do that. 
I'd have to go with the vegetables, I think. Or the vegetables. <laughs> I go with the vegetables because obviously it's my least actually, favorite food. I actually really like vegetables, but um, <laughs> I'd go with the food because I feel like you just scarf down five five servings for something I really hate. What, what's your about, least favorite food? Uh, olives? Green or black? Both. I hate olives with a passion. Olives and coconut. Like coconut sprinkled olives would be pretty bad. I mean, the, here's the thing. You could talk about foods that I really, really hate, but then you could make concoctions of things that are 10 times worse as well. Right. So it all really right. depends on if you're talking like rotten putrid fish mixed up into a milkshake, like there's a different thing there than. I was just thinking of food you've had before that you really don't like. Like legit food, not, you yeah. know. Yeah, for me, for, for me, it was a toss-up between liver. I'm not a liver person oh, at yeah. all. I don't even like the smell of liver being cooked. Um, and beets. I don't like beets at all. Again, the smell of even the smell of beets, just like, I'm like, I don't want any part of that. I so, don't like tripe either. I've had tripe. I've never actually had a the tripe. I was into Vietnamese pho, though, so I can't really tell. <laughs> Mark's, Mark's the exorcist right now. Um <laughs> So what did you decide with then, Mike? Uh, so I've always sort of, even when I lived in the ghetto, like my house was always sort of my sanctuary. You know, I could go home and just kick my feet up and not have to worry about things that annoy me. So I think I would rather do the food. See, because my- then I would at least have peace at the end of the day after I ate my beets and liver. My liver, or beet-crusted liver. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's true, but I've, I've also lived places before with people that have really annoyed me, and like I said, I either oh, I usually don't spend time there, or my room will be my, like, sanctuary. I turn my room into the only thing I do when I spend time at the house is everything I need to set up in my room. And granted, right. it's not been fun, to hide out in your room all the time, but I don't know. I feel like five servings a day, I could just like power them down for long. Why five servings though? I mean, like that's a lot. Because it's made in That thing makes it even worse. Makes you think. Like you get force fed. Well, I thought that was a good number to balance out the worst roommate ever. And apparently it was because I don't know that we're decisive on this. That is true. Mm. That is true. Well, All right. I, I got one more. One more. Let's do it. We got time for one more. All right. Would you rather never be able to watch your favorite show on TV? Whatever that favorite show is. Okay. I didn't think about it, but maybe as your favorite show alters like this carries over. So if you find a new favorite show that you like more than your old favorite show, you can't ever watch that again. So never be able to watch your favorite show again. Or, and I should have looked up how many seasons this show ran, but I feel like it was for a while. Or do an extensive study on keeping up with the Kardashians. And we're talking, you have to take multiple tests and quizzes and write essays on the show break broke down by episode. You have to know every bit of trivia, pass an extensive course on the keeping up with the Kardashians. Right. So I, I just want to throw out this stupid little logic problem that I have with this okay. is that any show that you watch that is your favorite show now isn't your favorite show. The show below that is your favorite show. So then you basically can't have any TV shows. Just one right? show. No, it's just one show. Your so whatever is currently running now that would be your favorite, yes. you can watch. Yeah, mm-hmm. I do that. That's pretty simple. See, I, the, I have a problem with this because The Kardashians is my favorite show. <laughs> so I, I'm not sure how I could make this work. Well, then, I, honestly, <laughs> the second one would be your your option that you love. No, I actually think that if I were to study the Kardashians, for one, I would learn more about pop culture than I currently know, and I'd be more accepted by society. Um, <laughs> and for two, you could probably make some money off of that in some way, shape, or form with like 
pop culture oh, trivia oh, contest and stuff. I, yeah. I, would go, I would go for that because I think it would, I would like to do it now just to get more into that side of the world and understand that side of the world because I've never, ever seen the Kardashians. I agree right. with you. I, I would much rather do that stupid case study, even though I think that thing is ran for like, what do you think, like six or seven years? It's been out for a really long time. Yeah, that's right? fine. I, I could watch that. I mean. But it's only so many episodes, you know, and. No, I'm okay with that. I feel like I feel like if you like pay any attention to like entertainment media, like you know at least a little bit about them already. So right, why not just knock out the episodes? I guess. Oh, uh, can I ask a couple of quick ones? Uh, I don't sure. really think so. <laughs> oh, never mind. You can't. Yes, well, just one minute. Okay. I've got <laughs> okay. Sixty seconds. Go. Uh, all right. Never uh, masturbate again, or no more alcohol. Never masturbate again. I got a girl for that. Don't need to masturbate. There you go. Yeah. I I'm not didn't expect that, that so one, no, did you? <laughs> so no more alcohol for me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait. Is she, is she not taking care of you enough that you still feel the need to masturbate all the time? See? I mean, that's what, that's what I, you're looking at. Every once in a while. You'd rather every once in a while masturbate than ever have alcohol again? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I My wife, I don't. I don't just say like I just don't turn her on like a switch all the time. So it's not like, come on, let's have sex. Okay, there it is. You know. Sometimes. See, I'm lucky enough that I can just tell her, and it's a demand. It's not a request. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's that's how I am. You know? uh, 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 would you always? Uh, would you rather always be nude or have everyone else be nude? So the rest of your life. Either you or or everyone else. Everyone else <clears throat> as well, because I want to Wait. sleep in my underwear because I don't feel I like like that feeling of my naked ass against the bed sheets. All right, I got one more quick. All right, would you rather be trapped in the world of The Walking Dead or Jurassic Park? Never Jurassic seen Park. either. I think I, I could. A, a dinosaur would rip you apart. I think sure. I could hide from the dinosaurs <laughs> easier though. <laughs> they're small or they're bigger like predators they're meant to hunt you but they're bigger i could hide in caves that they couldn't get into whereas i think zombies could still get in anywhere i could get into but they're slow moving but there's lots of them <laughs> yeah. all right guys we gotta go all right guys thanks for watching <laughs> i'll see you, next okay. time. See you later. <laughs>